Hello random guy on the internet. I just wanted to make a video to try to answer your question. Uh, as you can see, the text isn't really blurry. I'm running on a computer like you, a M2 Mac Mini, hiding away down here. And I'm running the screen at 4K, so you can see the text isn't blurry at all. Let's see, let's, get, let's see if it can, no, it won't switch to the macro lens, but as you can see, it's, okay when it comes to blurriness so that's not a problem uh, but it's a really dark screen when you use HDR as you can see here uh, this is a video with HDR content and it's almost absurdly let's say bright because of it it's HDR I don't know how well it comes across over uh, over uh, through the camera here but as you can see the brightness is like almost mm, it's like like it's like it's a blur across the screen or like a uh, filter that just makes everything darker which I really don't like so yeah but uh, the screen quality is good it's not blurring as I mentioned above there, there's the thing about the um, subpixel layout so if I do a search then you can see I don't know if you can see it let's try it you can see that there's those red and green stripes around every yellow line because of the yeah sub pixel layout thingy which i don't really notice that much but it's a thing uh, also if you're planning on running a mac 2 mini with an m2 this is a 8 gig only version it seems to run reasonably well even with geforce now as you can see here i have cyberpunk running and it's uh, nice and smooth running at a even 120 hertz uh, so so that's not uh, an issue and the HDR is okay so the only thing that I would uh, I don't think I would buy this screen again unless it was really really uh, on a, like if there was a, some sort of offering uh, for a lower price because uh, for, uh, couple of things that annoy me is that uh, is of course this uh, sub pixel causing the red and uh, green stripes around the yellow stuff and I don't like that it's always resets or uh, after four hours so you just have to turn it on and back uh, um, on and off quick it seems to be a uh, problem much many people have had and uh, uh, but except that, it's a really good screen. It's really responsive. It's right. Uh, it works really well with. Um, it's like so smooth if you move things around, and you have lots of real estate to put stuff if you want to like put stuff around the screen. Uh, if you want to uh, use it for work, uh, but uh, it's a bit too expensive given the bugs. Also, mine. You can see it here, but. Like my button just fell off from uh, the joystick underneath there for some stupid reason, but I still have like remote that works okay. So yeah, it's an okay screen, but I'm glad my work paid for me. So uh, so up to you. Blurriness is not an issue, but it's a bit of a dark screen uh, when you put on HDR. Uh, I also, I would suggest getting like a, a USB-C to uh, uh, deep, uh, display port, not used so that you don't have to use the. Let's see. Ah. Where, where are you? Here. Uh, it's better to use the USB-C to display port because then you, because the M2 doesn't support uh, uh, HDMI 2.1, so you're not going to get the full 120 hertz uh, uh, 4K. But it, with a USB-C to display port, it's I get the full full 4K 120 HDR. So yeah. That's my long-winded, it's an okay screen, but it's a bit overpriced and it has a few bugs. So yeah, if you can find a good offer on it, then go for it. But unless, just don't expect it to be a perfect screen. Okay, bye.